Hello everyone and welcome to Wellesley High School. I'm Rama K. Ramaswamy here with my colleague Paul Falcone with Wellesley Media Corporation. And today we'll be covering the second annual Wellesley Create-a-thon sponsored by Wellesley Education Foundation and the Wellesley High School Computer Science Club. This is the second Create-a-thon. It's a really nice event with high school students, teaching middle school students a little bit about programming and creativity. I mean, it was, it, the event has really been pretty successful. We, we have industry people, we have high school kids, we have middle school kids, and uh, we'll see over the years if we get more kids in the computer science classes as a result. All right, we're here with Create-a-thon organizers and volunteers. So they're gonna tell us their names and what they think about today. We'll start with Taylor. Hi, so I'm Taylor McLennan. I'm one of the volunteer chairs. Um, this is an amazing event. The high schoolers get to teach middle schoolers how to code. They learn how to make their own apps. They can solve problems that are present in the community, and it's really a great opportunity. And then we have Eleanor. Hi, I'm Eleanor. This is my second year working um, for the Create-a-thon this year. Um, I'm the chair, so I'm figuring it all out, putting it all together, um, and it's been amazing. An amazing collaboration, really, between students who already know and who are already really excited about CS, and then middle schoolers and high schoolers looking to get involved and looking to like learn and find a new passion. And I think that this day kind of combines those two interests together with people wanting to share what they love and people wanting to get involved and interested about coding. So it's going really awesome so far. Um, we have so many amazing people that came to help, like our quick base mentors um, teaching our workshops and high schoolers who have learned App Inventor in classes and are now coming to teach what they learn in class to kids and hopefully get them excited about taking a class similar um, or doing something related to app building or um, coding in the future. Nice, and, and Eleanor, you were part of the uh, Creative Thone organizers last year as well, right? Yeah. So how's the second year for you? Yeah, second year is awesome. I think first year was really all about figuring out like what our goal was um, and what we really wanted to create of this event. And now, second year, we were really able to refine those missions um, and make sure we have all the best people bringing us together, the best judges, the best prizes, um, and the best mentors to make it an awesome day. And I can't wait to see how it grows from here. Um, I'm heading off to college next year, but I know um, they're going to already have people taking up um, running this, and they're going to make it even better every year to come. And, and there's a large group of you, right? There's uh, how many um, in, in total of all of you organizer volunteers? Yeah, there's about um, six of us, but we've had um, amazing support from WEF as well. We have um, parents there that come um, and help us um, make sure our, this mission can really succeed. And then we also have 20 mentors. So these are high school kids that missed practices, missed um, all the other events that are happening in their lives to come, you know, teach the middle schoolers and high schoolers um, how to program. And it's a really hard task that we're asking them to do, and they've done an amazing job jumping into those roles. Awesome. And Megan? Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm Megan, and um, I think something that's really special about the Create-a-thon is that people value the development of a really thoughtful idea just as much as they do for the technical coding, which can be a little bit harder for middle schoolers to learn. So it's a great opportunity for them to be introduced to computer science. So quick spoiler question. <laughs> which project app do you think, do you predict this year might, like, I win. What are the well, good ones? Well, I actually am mentoring my own team, so you might say I'm biased. So I'm glad we brought in some uh, judges that are from um, all over and they have a lot of technical background. So I'm really excited to see um, what kids bring that's really unique and different. Um, and there's also like so many ways that these kids stand out. Um, a lot of people are doing things they love, they feel really is a problem they encounter in their everyday life. A lot of what like Dr. Lucier talked about with scheduling, I'm seeing a lot of cool scheduling ideas, people really trying to solve that problem. Um, but I'm also seeing a lot of people diving right into that coding and trying to see how much they can get done because we do award a prize for the best code. So I'm really seeing some kids get excited about the coding piece um, and trying to build as much of their app as they can in such a short amount of time. Well that's pretty neat, so that's both technical and the vision. Yeah, that's what yeah. you're looking for this year. We tried to really focus this year on making sure each kid can kind of find something they're interested in and, um, you know, be able to achieve in that way. So, you know, we have prizes both in ideation and really coming up with a cool idea and then also in making the best app and then finally in really teamwork, 
business execution, how did you take your vision and how are you turning it into a product you can use? And what's your group working on? Um, so, I, are you allowed to tell us? I don't know yet. I know. Yeah. I, I, right, what's your group working yeah. on? Um, so my group is interested in making a scheduling app. So they want to find a way to, if you get a message from someone that says, would you like to come to the movies with me at seven o'clock tonight? The app will recognize that event and then it will ask you, would you like me to add this to your calendar? And if you choose yes, then it will add it to your calendar. And it's a lot easier than um, the tedious task of plugging it into your calendar. And then also there will be another feature where you can click on suggestions for activities to fill up your free time. And you could take a quiz for potential interest. And also it will gather the activities that you're doing right now and um, give you some suggestions just from that information. Very cool. What about you, Taylor? So I'm not actually mentoring a group. I'm one of the volunteer chairs, so I'm just working with getting people where they're supposed to be, making sure everything's happening in the right order, floating and figuring out technology issues or anything with the scheduling. So I don't have a group, but I'm really excited to see what the other ones come up with. Nice. <laughs> That's, it's good to have you behind the desk taking care of business. <laughs> So you were here last year I was. for Create-a-thon. So how was this year's experience? It was really um, about as fun as last year, which is to say a lot of fun. So we, um, I did one of the ideation workshops and just am so impressed that the concepts that we taught to middle school kids are the same one we use at our company and they got it pretty much right away. Are you impressed with this year's group of kids? Oh yeah, they're amazing. They're really, they're just so fast. They figure out things really fast and they've got so many creative ideas. And, and what are the differences between this year and last year, if you notice any? So a couple of things. I think the focus on which problems to solve made it so much easier for the kids to sort of really get down to, in my case, the ideation, what particular things should their app do to solve those problems. So that made a really big difference. But again, like Margaret said, really impressed with how quickly the kids grasp concepts that we use in our work every day. Uh, it's awesome just to see all of these kids, you know, collaborating with each other on ideas that they think they can help the community. Um, it's amazing what that, like, in such little time, they'll just come up with such a creative idea that seems like it will really help. Um, so it's going to be cool to see what comes out of it. And your thoughts? Yeah, I'm really impressed with the, the participants. They all have great ideas and they're sketching things out and trying things that might be a little bit out of their comfort zone and it's really cool to see them dive in and, and, and really work on something different. So are, are you two, um, did you see your Saturday going this way and volunteering for <laughs> this kind of, was, has it been fun? Yes, it has been fun. Uh, it's great to, I don't often get around to be this age student, so it's great to sort of get out of my comfort zone and <laughs> do that. I, I don't, like Kara, I don't really have a lot of opportunity to interact with, you know, the younger generation um, who's going to be, you know, in our shoes years from now. So to be able to have an impact on, um, on them and help them, you know, get organized and do something creative is just really inspiring and fun. Are you two gathering resumes for hires in the possible like five, six years from this pool of kids? Yeah, well, Maybe. we could do some interns. Yeah. Yeah. Timothy, Mark, and Steven, you're all sixth graders. Did your parents make you sign up for this today? Um, no. uh, my I mom runs it, so I kind of have to. And I wanted to go. I think it's fun. Yeah, yeah I was invited by Steven. You were invited. Decided to come. Yeah. I was invited by Tim, too. I'm well, Steven. technically, my mom doesn't run it, but she helps. Like Eleanor oh, runs it, right. but she like helps because they're of all high schoolers. Right. She's no, only parent. I agree with you. I think your mom runs it. <laughs> yeah, your mom runs a lot of things. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Yes. So how is the how's the day going for you today? You got some good ideas for your apps. Yeah, we have a ton of great ideas. ideas. They're, yeah. amazing. they're amazing. Yeah. It's gonna be a very interesting yeah. two hours. Yeah, five interesting. Five right. Yeah. If you come up with an idea to get the earth to spin slower, you gotta call me. Okay. All right. Okay. I want like, an app for like that. Like in the Nike commercial, exactly. where the world stops spinning on its yeah. axis. Right. And I'm looking to you three for that. Okay. All right. That'll happen. We'll okay. use electromagnetic radiation. Excellent. Yeah. Good point. So are you almost done with your app, or are you still working uh, on it? 
Well, well no, we, we got, got all our ideas. Time until after. Okay. Yeah, we got all our ideas. Now okay, we're just good. You have to like do the work after. You don't oh, have any okay. time to work on it. Gotcha. All right. How do you folks think it's going so far? You're all Create-a-thon volunteers and organizers. Yeah. And are you all part of the Computer Science Club or in different, different groups of volunteers? Uh, I'm not personally part of the Computer Science Club. I uh, got involved with this through Eleanor, who's facilitating the event. Uh, and I think it's going pretty well so far. It's definitely flowing a lot smoother than it was last year, and I'm seeing big improvements with the overall program. And you? This is my first uh, year of experience with computer science, so I'm in the AP Computer Science Principles course. And I also was introduced to the create -a by Eleanor. And I think it's going great. I'm working with a group of kids, and they seem really interested in programming, and I'm very happy to teach them. Awesome. And you? Yeah, uh, I also got involved um, in the create -a through Eleanor, I guess. Uh, I took a few computer science courses uh, throughout my high school career, I suppose, and um, yeah, it's going really well this year. There's definitely great improvements we're doing this year. It's a lot more organized, more thought out, I think, and it's just uh, a lot well, well better done than last year, yeah. I suppose. Second year seems to be always better, right? Yeah. Um, and I also, again, was involved through Eleanor. Um, I've been, I was here last year, and one of the main problems was that it's, it was a lot of time just for the volunteers just spending coding and then they, because it's hard to learn coding in 25 minutes so um, this year they've done a, lot, a much better job about teaching coding and showing the kids how to you know, express their ideas and explaining what I'm basically going to be end, ending up doing when I'm creating the app. It's also a lot less pressure on us to finish the app completely for the final presentation. It's a lot of fun doing this, and I really do enjoy you know, coding and being able to teach coding because I think it's an important skill for the future. Are you personally learning anything out of this as well? Um, yeah, I think uh, it's been a few years since I first started doing App Inventor, and I think it's always good to have a few refreshers, definitely. Uh, yeah. um, every once in a while you really do forget like what you learned, so I guess teaching is a good way to keep up to point with what you learned previously. So. It's interesting to see the kids start to think in the abstract because a lot of coding is like a bunch of abstractions. So it's interesting to see them like develop that skill. And, and what age group do you have? Do you have sixth graders or? I have um, a, a team of four, three eighth graders, one sixth grader. Oh, very cool. Um, I agree with what Brandon was saying. I, this year I'm in the AP computer science class and so I feel like I have a really strong basis with computer science but I think teaching it really emphasizes that. It sort of helps me put together the pieces and help me explain what I'm thinking while I'm coding uh, better than I would be able to if I didn't, hadn't attended an event like this. Anyone um, started in a razor fight yet? Or paper clip yet. throwing? No? Not yet, no? That's all going pretty well, smoothly? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Looks like you guys might actually survive the day. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you. We have high school principal Jamie Chisholm, who's one of the judges for Create-a-thon today. Jamie, tell us about how the day's going for you. Oh, it's exciting. It's really interesting to get inside the kids' heads and to, to see the problems they're trying to solve and the, and the different ways they, they approach how to do it. So Now we have proof that you never leave the school. Uh, <laughs> I do leave occasionally, um, but uh, I come back a lot. And how do you think this group is doing in here? Um, there's some really good ideas, some things that I had not thought of. So yeah, there's some good stuff. I don't want to let too much out of the bag. We're early in the judging process, so.
centers around um, education and sustainability. There are different levels, and each level has certain topics that you can be educated about that have to do with saving the environment, such as composting and ocean pollution. And in order to encourage kids to do this, uh, we have a virtual pet that they can cu customize with points. And as long as they keep doing these things and keep learning and keep uh, doing the environmental things, they can customize it and it won't die. Um, our mission uh, overview uh, basically is to educate the next generation about um, global warming because it's a huge problem in the world and um, so that they can carry their knowledge throughout their life. It's um, centered towards elementary school. And a way to motivate these kids to keep learning is we offer customization for their um, virtual pet and they can basically buy anything they want from points they earn from learning and reading articles. Yeah. Um, an example of something that you can do to earn points is um, if you compost or um, if you recycle or if you plant a tree, for example, and you record it in the app and it earns points. So basically it um, helps you recycle and what it tells you what you can recycle and what you should not recycle and you tap on what you recycled that week and then it goes into um, each time you recycle one object it counts as five points and um, the five points goes into your wallet and then each time like each time you recycle something you get more points more points and then you end up and you can buy avatars and things like that uh, let's see it over here yeah. and I see you have a QR code um, yes, because that's how you get to the yeah. Did you finally fix your glitch? Yeah. It's working? Mm hmm Awesome. So, uh, here's our app's homepage. And um, so uh, it basically the app is it just tells you like what you can and can't recycle and rewards you when you do recycle. So what you can do is you can click here, and then it brings you to a list of um, the things that you should recycle. So okay. say you at home, you're at home and you recycle a paper bag. Uh -huh. You click on paper bags and it asks you if you recycle paper bags. So you say yes. And then you go to your wallet and you got five coins. And then once you get to 100 coins, you go up a rank. And then once you get to 150 coins, you go up another rank. Very cool. So do, do all your recyclables have the same amount of points or are they all different points? Uh, they're all the same amount of points. Excellent. And, and tell me about the coding part. Was it hard? Uh, I didn't do much of the coding. I focused mostly on the I did on the poster. The coding. Um, we did most um, of the coding. We both did. The, let's sit this way. So, Good idea. Um, you both did the coding. He did most of the coding. Yeah. I helped out a little. Yeah. Um, so basically, the hardest part of the coding was to get the coins to work. So we used a tiny DB, which is basically a thing that holds a number into. So basically, it holds the ta the value of a tag. So um, it has to. So we assigned the value here. No, I know different slide. So here, the value of RC, which is the tag, is zero uh -huh. until you. Um, and then up here, it notifies that after you choose yes, it um, it sets it up so you get five more coins, so yeah. Very cool, thank you for sharing. It's called Food Frenzy and it focuses on college students and how like they need to eat healthier and that they need um, food which is like easy to access and cheaper because like they're in college and they don't have enough yeah, they're, money. They're on a budget. They're, they're on a budget. In yeah. And it helps like it shows you like all of the items of food you can eat per week through a point system and it shows you the price of the items and like at the end it sums it all up into a grocery list and it gives you the recipes for each item and uh, um, your goal for the week is like to get a thousand points or something and if you reach your goal then um, you get like a prize so if you like you reach your goal for two weeks you'll get um, a week of dessert or if you reach your goal for like three weeks or something and if the app was real and it grew bigger like you would be able to get um like a free coupon to like have ice cream somewhere or something like that if like sponsors were helping us there's like negative points and positive points because the um healthy value like ice cream would be like negative points because that's like a lot of calories and but then it would be like carrot sticks would be like 10 points and because it's this more on the healthier side so it would get more points 
nice. And I think carrot sticks are also less expensive than ice yeah, cream. they are, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Works out well. And we awesome. like to sum up all the things to make like a cheaper um, version of the things. Our app is called Homework for um, Home Chores and for Schoolwork. So basically, you come into this home screen where you can press, so it comes in as an introduction, and you can press continue where on that iPad, um, do you want to show them? It just like comes up with sign, sign in with your username or password. But if you don't have an account, you can, ch you can type in your email and password so that can save your account. And you can also type in your username and password for when you want to sign in. You can also choose an avatar to keep with you throughout the game and later on you can buy clothes for that avatar with the coins earned from doing the certain chores. I'll explain uh, the chores. The chores are things that the parent can basically uh, give the kid as well as the rewards. So what happens is that the kid receives a list of uh, chores to do associated with uh, a certain number of coins given and when that's kid does the chore you get coins and then with those coins you can go to the store and basically claim rewards either in the game such as mentioned before like making decorations for an avatar or actually get real life uh, rewards such as like an hour of free time or like 20 minutes of phone time. Wow a whole hour of free time that sounds good. Yeah. Awesome. Before you just spend it all, yeah. you need to send it to the parent to approve the chore. And if the parent doesn't approve, then you don't get the coins and that chore just uh -oh. completely erases and they have to send it again. But if they do approve, then you get that number of coins that they set. Wow, that, that sure means business. Very nice. Lily, what was your favorite part? I'm going to pass this to you. Uh, my favorite part of the app of the app was is probably the um, the how the um, you can email the parent and the parent can approve or not approve of the coins and um, so then like they can check and the kids can't just keep pressing all of them and get like unlimited amounts of coins yeah so our app first is called catch up and ke so basically. It's like, let's say you have a snow day and you really, and then you have to make it up in the summer. And then sometimes for some schools, like in Buffalo, they go until like July because they have so many snow days. Or if you're sick for like a week because you have like a pneumonia or something and you have to make up a lot of work. And that can be very frustrating. So basically this will let you do this from home. And so your teachers can um, post like videos of what like they did in class if they like can they record. And like there's like an overview and their homework too. And so basically you can have all your classes and if we knew how to do it we would add like a login and password to like get you exactly instead of like having to like look through every single teacher and so yeah that's our, our very Zena. cool so who came up with the name ketchup uh she I came up the name so we're th we 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 don't want the name to be very boring we don't want to just like catch up the work so we want it to be kind of like catchy. Oh, it was really fun. It's a good idea because here in, you know, up here in New England, it gets a lot of snow. So we don't want to add on to our summer and take it all up. Not to mention snow season. Yeah. <laughs> um, so our app is about um, buses. So preferably like school buses. So it will, like, it's a digital map that will track your school bus and um, show you where your bus is at all times so you don't have to like stand out in the cold and wait for your bus. What was your favorite part, Dean? Um, my favorite part was like actually like, making the app and like being able to like touch the buttons and have it go to the next page. So that was pretty cool. It was also kind of cool like program, program it. That's, 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 that's. What do you think, Sam? How was it? Uh, I thought it was pretty fun because I got to meet some new people, and I just had a good time doing the poster and, and learning how to code. Okay. Tell me, what was for you? Um, I liked it because I didn't know how to code before, but now I know how to code. Excellent. Awesome. And how was it to be the only girl member of this team? Um, well, it was kind of random, actually. There were a lot of girls in this program, which is nice, but honestly, it was pretty random. Yeah. Um, hello, so our app is called Doormat Security, 
and what it does is that most people want to enter through the main doors which have the voice uh, passcode where you can say to the main office. But if people want to enter through the side doors, students can just let them in, but not now. So now the doors will be locked until you f fill out a short survey about who you are, which sends directly to the main office, and they can let you in. So what we do is we press sign in, and then you say if you have a school login, and students and teachers have a school login, so they will be able to press, yes, I do. Don't press it. Yeah, well, you can. You yeah. can say no, I don't either. You can do it. Yeah, you could do it either way. Um, and so until you, pr until you fill out both things, the button login is disabled. Um, and, the and technically you can type in anything you want and it will be enabled, but, if, but the doors won't be opened unless it's valid. Well, we all just like, we all loved coming up with the idea. We're all really like passionate about keeping um, better security in the schools and well, we all, we all like the coding because we thought we made something really cool out of our coding and we didn't really know it would be this, like, it would be this functional and we also liked making the poster <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. Really colorful. we basically liked every part of the project. Usually, you know, I code, right, but I wouldn't be able to do this and this without other people, so I think it's, I think it's really good that we got this done. <laughs> Uh, I'm Richard. I'm mentoring them. I was helping out with their design of the app. And uh, I don't think I really mind being the only guy. <laughs> it, it was nice to work with them. It, we, I'm very proud of what we made. So this is Zip Schedule. And if you get texts or emails from like other people or your friends and you've been gone a long time and, oh no, look, I see I have 400 text messages, then it will automatically add it into your schedule. And, or you can manually add an event. And based on your events, like, oh, I do soccer. I have soccer practice. Um, there will be, oh, look, based on my events, there's a futsal game to support charity. And it shows you the time and date. Yeah. Very nice. And, and what was your favorite part of working on this app? Um, well, I got to learn some more of the code. MIT made the cool um, app companion thing. It, it, uh, it incorporates the two things. It's a little buggy, but I think it, I think it really works. Yeah. 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 Have you two coded before? Um, not really, but he has. I'm taking a, yeah, I'm taking a, a, a more basic computer science class, just with Java and Python, but yeah. I'll hopefully do AP in the future. Excellent. How about you? Um, so I'm probably going to take computer science when I'm either junior or senior, and I really want to get to a the AP level because coding is like a good skill for everybody to learn. Yeah. So next year will be apps to help moms, right? Next year, your project will be apps to help moms, yep. right? Promise? Okay, sounds good. Our app is an app that allows students to um, reduce stress and control their own learning through evaluation of their grades and um, sort of like seeing how they can improve their grades and how they can improve their student skills. And what was your best part, favorite part of working on this? Finding a way because I was always kind of Wanted to be able to keep track of my grades, but power school wasn't an option. So uh, I guess it was cool to find a way to do it yourself. And I see you incorporated the uh, growth m mindset in here. So yeah, it's pretty nifty. Thank you guys you. are thinking about low stress, which is awesome. Congrats. Looks great. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. 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 Um, thank you, everyone, for coming out for this awesome day. Let's give a round of applause to our participants. Um, I really enjoyed every part of the day, um, seeing them working really hard in workshops, collaborating with their team mentors um, to create their apps and their posters. Um, I loved every time I heard, no wait, I need 10 more minutes to work on my app. Um, so thank you so much that this um, day means so much to me. And I'm so happy that all of you took time out of your Saturdays to come. Uh, and hopefully you learned a little something along the way as well. <laughs> um, so I just want to say a few um, last quick thank yous um, to some people who really helped this day um, turn around and be what it is. Um, so these were um, students who took time to um, come plan this day um, and involve so many pieces and parts. 
Um, so I just want to thank them each individually. Um, Calvin Isley, who was um, not only a team mentor and a workshop leader, um, he also, I don't know where he is, if you could give a wave, Calvin, probably in the back somewhere working hard, um, but also scheduled all our workshops um, and collaborated with QuickBase employees to get them here and teaching workshops for our day. Um, the team had to run to the March for Our Lives um, rally in Boston, but she helped with all the marketing for our day and making sure you guys could all hear about um, our event. Um, Lewis, hold on, um, is still running around in the back doing what he does best. Um, but he. I found an HDMI cable. Okay, good job. Um, he he was awesome helping with um, all our budget um, things, getting all our sponsorships and our donations. So um, made this day possible. Um, Taylor and Megan, Megan, I saw you. Yeah, Megan's over here. Um, stepped in as a pitch hit mentor, so that was great. Um, did a great job with that, but also helped with all our volunteers um, and Taylor as well. Um, Henry um, did all our technology for the day. Um, ben helped with um, all of, don't show it yet. Not that one. Don't I'm trying to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, for a second, and Ben helped with um, our problem statements, which you saw, which our participants saw, and um, was also helped with registration and getting everyone signed up. So let's give a big round of applause to all of those. Yay, yay me! possible um, were Katie, Go Ringer, and Beth. Um, so give them a round of applause. Thank you. Yay, yay, yay. Yay. Um, and then also um, to Dr. Cohen, our amazing computer science teacher. He supports us in every way. Thank you. Yay. And, and, and the biggest round of applause should go to Eleanor, who has yes. done an amazing amount of uh, And I hope this day has inspired all of those who participated um, to come to the high school and to take classes and to learn more um, and to continue to study computer science because that's why we did this day. It's to get other people excited um, about, this, about this as well. So um, without further ado, we're going to head right into um, our final award ceremony. Um, throughout the day, these kids made awesome posters to talk, to explain to you, you saw while you walked around the room, to explain to you what they wanted their app to do. Um, they built some apps, you got to see those too. They coded some really awesome things as well. Um, but, and then we had um, judges walking around um, to then um, see how well they did and award some prizes. So I'm just going to invite up um, some people, some of our judges, um, to present in the categories that they judged for. Um, so first, um, we're going to have um, Dr. Cohen to present on coding. Okay, so the, the coding award goes to team, the combined team, 21 Brown. Oh. to present this award for business execution to Foodie Wellesley. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Dr. Teresa Hubbard Young to talk about best idea. So this is to the doormat security group. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 about that and um, you should be able to get your code up on the screen behind you so you can give just so everyone got to see um, your awesome work. Let's see. Yeah. Don't fail me now. It may come up. You guys start talking and we'll see if we can get it up behind you. Okay, so our mission is to educate kids about sustainability so that when they're older they can use that knowledge in making different choices that help support the environment. Um, we thought this was really important because we know that global warming is a very huge problem and we want to start with younger kids so that when they grow up they can be good to the earth. In order to do this effectively, uh, we made a virtual pet and it's their job to take care of that and to take care of that they could either watch videos or read articles and that gives them points for education and if they don't want to do that they can also just have tasks like pick up trash turn off lights compost or something and that also gives them points and just by doing points they can keep the animal uh good and healthy and with those points they can also buy customization features for it like uh clothes or accessories and even backdrops and it's up behind you guys. Do you want to talk about this page? Right. Just tell me where to click. Um, you can click on the copy. Um, we built in um, a link so that you can um, learn more about composting and um, because um, that was one of the important things in level one to, just, um, to learn about in the education future. Um, so. Yeah, I'll. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we are. <laughs> um, and also we have an article um, that you can learn about because um, it's helpful to have two sources. You can, yeah. Um, you get the idea. It goes through an yeah. article. Yeah. <laughs> and the compost. It works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we also made this, which was um, the um, the, the coding that we were most proud of, um, and um, if, if I can get it to work, okay, I'm gonna work here. Okay, so um, uh, it's, it's self grading, so yeah. basically just by entering what you Is that right, true or not, though? Mm -hmm. Okay, so or this is, is false. Submit, submit quiz. then it'll self edit yeah. and um, it'll check it off in your, um, in your goals. Do do it wrong, it'll die. But you can resurrect it for only six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that money goes to the World Wildlife Foundation. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm Thank you. 
Oh yeah, you want a picture? I realize it's a video, yes. but you can. I can, I can pull a frame. Yeah, 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 sick. Yeah, you want to get Perfect. <laughs> Very good, thank you, folks. Awesome. Final thing, um, I just want to remind everyone that um, each team of four had a mentor. Um, so, you know, you remember your mentor, so make sure to say a quick thank you um, on your way out to your mentor. Um, and also, I know a lot of you are in middle school, but as you head to the high school, please take um, coding classes with um, Dr. Cohen. They're amazing. The intro one is with Miss Bell, but she's amazing as well. Um, you can learn a lot of awesome stuff like this, and your mentors have all been through the class, so if you have any questions, Check in with them, um, but definitely keep learning, keep exploring, um, and stay creative. You guys were amazing today. Um, and tell your friends, because we'll be doing this again next year, so I hope to see some familiar faces. Thank you again.